There you are, asshole! Oh, jeez. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Business is booming, and I can hardly keep up! Not that I'm complaining. Our connections across the star are already paying dividends. Well, I'm glad to hear it. But I'm sure you're wondering why I wanted to speak with you. I have a surprise for you. A gift, in fact. A gorgeous, exclusive, and above all, properly registered Iron Sanctuary! Uh, Quay? You heard that right! I, Tarutaru, Taru, am presenting you with your very own island. Now, now, I know you'll be tempted to demure with, are you certain, or you're far too kind, and quite certain, and yes, I know, blah, 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 blah. But I hope you can accept this gift in the spirit of friendship. I've seen the weight of the Boydens you carry first hand, after all. You rose to become the champion of Eorzea, and now a hero known across the star and beyond, which leaves very few places where you might be free of duty and expectation. As I considered where you might find such an oasis, an idea washed over me like an oncoming tide. The sea! An island paradise with naught but the serenity of nature for mounds. And even you should be free to relax, asshole! So, what do you say? Yes? A thousand times yes? Or I'm walking here? What are we waiting for? Toss me in the hold and throw the sail. It's good to know we're of the same mind. Truly, there is no time like the present to be on our way. We make for Moraby Dry Docks. Look for Balden, a skipper near the Aetherite. He should be expecting us, you fucking dickhead! Quest accepted. Arr! Sebi are ye! The little mistress told me to expect ye, arr! She said that she'd be shortly along herself and arr! Speak of the devil! Arr! It's me, assholes! Run, 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 run! Sebi, I thought I'd dress light for our voyage given the notorious humidity of the Southern Isles. I trust everything is in order, Belden? Dar! Just give me a holler when you're ready to set sail, you little lad of hell, Arr. You're nothing to fear where we're going. Not since any marauder with an ounce of sense hung up their axe, Arr. The old oil and sanctuary business came about from Admiral Reckoning. We need something to do about the piracies off the table, matter of fact. Just look at me, a bloody stand-up citizen ferrying folks around instead of knifing them in the back and stealing their Pokemon cards. Any road, you're packed rather late for an adventure of this sort. Do you realize you're responsible for bringing your own tools and supplies, you cunt? Hey, not to worry. Sorry, I almost did your accent for a second. Not to worry, you fucking asshole. We'll procure everything there. By the way, I realize our voices sound a little similar. And what are you gonna do? How in the hell is your plan to do that, Har? Well, I got a little something in mind. Let's just say the idea was good enough to land as I poimed. <laughs> yeah. Arr, is that so? Well, the best of luck to ye both, and I hope you enjoy a crabby patty along the way, Arr. Well, I'm sure you're just itching to see your new domain, so I'll fill you in. I'll fill in your asshole! With my penis! Arr! Well, you better make your preparations. We'll leave port the moment you give a word. Arr! I'll be waiting for you. In the parking lot. Sleep with one eye open, you little hedgehog. <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that kind of went a bit uh, downhill. <laughs> sorry, that scene uh, kind of went a bit off the rails there, but I blame you, chat. It's your fault for egging me on. Oh, that's rules. Tartaru is so cute in a little sun costume. I'm a happy little hedgehog. Sebi, look towards the horizon. It's beautiful. 
isn't it? Beep, beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. Wow! It's like the starting zone from Sonic 3. Angel Island zone. What the fuck is that? I'm walking here. Ah, there's nothing like a sea voyage to rekindle the adventuring spirit. So, what do you think? This untamed isle is yours to cultivate as you see fit. Or not, as it were. If nothing else, think of it as your personal hideaway. A not-so-secret one. Oh my fucking god. That's big. That's really big. Almost as big as my- I'm sorry, I'm not going to finish that sentence. The refreshing caress of the wind. The soothing whisper of the winds. How liberating. I admit, I've been looking forward to joining you here. Now, this might come as a bit of a surprise, but the island was once commandeered by a band of pirates and used as a supply base. Fortunately for us, the group disbanded- Oh shit, I accidentally skipped my dialogue. Yeah, who cares? The group disbanded years ago, and as you know all too well, Merwib has never been one to sit around idly. She's had her eyes, dare I say, her tits, on the citadels, formulating plans for island settlements for years. Now that a sense of peace has settled through the realm, she decided to put those plans into motion. A chosen few have been permitted to become keepers of private isles in this vast archipelago. And you're one of them, you fucking asshole! Anyway, my industrious idea of procuring all the materials needed to settle here locally struck a chord with the Admiral when she read my proposal. So much that she was happy to grant me a deed. Uh, this is not exactly a one-man job, Tartaro, and I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. Not to worry. I've arranged for ample assistance. I shall happily introduce you in just a moment. But first, you'll need to follow me towards that charming little clearing that I've designated as your base of operations. If we were simply to clamber up that slope up ahead and proceed along the path, we should soon bump into... Well... You'll see. I'm walking here. Allow me to introduce you to the Felicitous Foyball, the leader of your team of the helpers. Oh. F How am I going to voice act like this? Well, well, well. If it isn't the owner himself, it shall be my pleasure to advise you whether you desire it or not. Oh uh, yes, I think we'll get along just fine. In addition to our feline friend here, I took the liberty of preparing a variety of other mammoths to assist with construction and development of the isle. You'll be pleased to know they are the latest and greatest models developed by one of the most brilliant minds in Charleian. I heard the professor of the studium was searching for a means to make use of his advanced automata. To make a long story short, I made him an offer he couldn't refuse, and managed to acquire all of them for the unbeatable price of free asshole! Is Tartaru some sort of mob boss that she just got all this for free? As I understand, the mammoths were produced in secret, whilst the forum formulated plans for the mass exodus. Intended to be- <coughs> I'm sorry. That was a rough cigar. But intended to be used as laborers on distant stars to help in constructing a new home for the people of Aetherus, it seemed that all the reason for their existence vanished when the threat to our star was erased. As you can imagine, the professor was quite conflicted over what to do with the remains of what we have to do with his life's work. But after some negotiation, I convinced him to entrust them to us. On the condition that we get the fuck him in the asshole whenever we want. hoo Furthermore, while I know it sounds like an ordeal on a half to procure all necessities for the land himself, 
there is ample practical justification for such experimentation. I'm working here. You see, the Admiral's vision is from people for all walks of life to access these island sanctuaries. And my idea might be the most effective way to accomplish that. If one has the capital at hand to purchase the materials and equipment needed for such a bold endeavor, it's a simple matter. What of those without such funds who simply wish to enjoy nature and live off the land? We can, we must, provide that such feat is possible and assist in providing these who would be isle keeps with the knowledge that they need to succeed. Only then will the islands be true sanctuaries. I'm a happy little hedgehog. Fret not, Mistress Tartaru, with authentic Charlene ingenuity and know-how at my core tips. The simple-minded individual... <laughs> Ahem, excuse me. Despite the enhancements in vocal organ design, the mechanism still gets stuck from time to time. Wait, she talks like a normal person now? Oh, get fucked. Well, goodness, that's a relief. But I should leave you to get properly acquainted. I'll return to see the fruits of your partnership when they're right for the picking. For now, get out of here, you fucking asshole. I'm walking here. Yes, welcome to the island. Give the word when you're finished ogling the surroundings. I'd prefer to get on with this sordid business sooner than later. I should also very much like to discuss the matter of my payment. You may now visit the island sanctuary of a party member, free company member, or friend who has unlocked the feature by speaking with Borden in the Moraby Dry Docks. Uh, you'll be unable to visit an island sanctuary if the owner has forbidden access to their island. There is no one in the island question, or the island question has reached its maximum capacity. What a bunch of losers. Furthermore, you must be on an acquaintance's home world if you wish to visit their island sanctuary. You may be blah, 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 blah. Who gives a fuck? Welcome to your new home in the Southern Seas, your own personal island sanctuary. Explore the wilds, build landmarks, grow crops, tend to animals, and enjoy everything this slice of paradise has to offer. There are no class or job restrictions. Adventurers of all inclinations can enjoy island sanctuary life, regardless of crafting or gathering experience. Come as you are, as they said in Nirvana. The island XP and your sanctuary rank. Accumulate island experience by engaging in activities on your island to increase your sanctuary rank. As your sanctuary rank increases, so too will the size of your penis. Visions. Realize visions for your newfound sanctuary by following a series of simple steps. And life on your island will be nothing short of perfect before you know it. Now fuck off. Now listen, Sebi. May I call you Sebi? I will anyway. Before we get started, I want to make it very clear that while you may be the owner, I command the mammoths. And as such, I demand a considerable sum. I would hate for us to get off on the wrong foot. With that settled, beyond this slope lies a clearing that Mistress Tartaru believed would serve well as a base of operations. Let us give it a look, shall we? Blah, 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 blah. All right, you fucking minge, let's go. A fine place to set up shop, would you not agree? Yes, I think that would do nicely. Now, while it has potential, this clearing is currently as bare as a white baboon's penis. We'll need some form of shelter from the elements if we're truly to make something of the place. Mistress Tartaru has told me of your exploits, but I think it's safe to assume chopping down a tree with your bare foreskin is out of your repertoire. Not that I'd ask you even if you could. We need tools for dedicate work of this nature. As such, the first order of business will be to craft yourself a hatchet. You'll need three palm leaves, two stones and branches each. 
I already don't want to do this. I already don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to go and collect three leaves and two pieces of wood and a, and, and a monkey's foreskin. I don't want to do it. Yeah, you know what, Zekin? I think you were right. I think this is where... I, I hate this. I hate this already. I don't want to do this. Oh my god. Okay, I'll tell you what. If I was not a streamer, I would do this. Maybe. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> oh, I haven't even I haven't even played it. Oh. I am not a gathering streamer, guys. I'm not a crafting gathering streamer. This is not me. This is not me, guys. 